Here we have for sale our 2017 on a 17 plate Volkswagen Transporter. This is the T6, which is the sixth generation of the Volkswagen Transporter. This is a T32, meaning it's got a 3.2 ton gross vehicle weight. This one has got the 2 litre TDI. Euro 6 diesel engine in this particular van producing 150 PS, roughly 150 brake horsepower, accompanied with a six speed manual gearbox. And this started its life as a short wheelbase combi van, but as you may be able to see inside there now, it is not quite as standard. So, what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around. I'll show you the spec that you would get on a Volkswagen Transporter Highline Combi of this age, which is, of course, the model which this is. But then we'll talk you through the bits which have been added and the beautiful conversion which has been done in the rear of the van as well. So starting here then at the rear of this van is the glazed rear tailgate. So that is how most combis come from the factory. So a tailgate is one door which opens up like so and glazed, meaning of course it has got the rear window. And a quick way of telling if it's factory or not, of course, is that it has the rear wiper and it is also heated as well. Now the first thing to note which has been added here is this nice little gloss black rear spoiler, which I think actually contrasts really nicely with the uh, red of the paintwork. And just moving down a little bit below this, we'll have a good look here at the condition. Hopefully the camera is conveying accurately just how clean and tidy this is here at the back. We've got a lovely gloss to the paintwork. It's looking very, very clean indeed. Another thing then which has been added is a nice carbon fibre rear uh, bumper protector. And of course, clue is in the name. That is of course there to protect the top of this rear bumper. And we've also got parking sensors integrated into the rear bumper as well and that comes as standard on the Highline model. If we open up the rear tailgate then we can start to have a look inside the back of this van. So this van has been converted into what I would call a day van. So a day van is a van that you can use every day as a car but this rear seat folds completely flat into a full width bed. This is a rib rock and roll bed and the key thing uh, with the rib is that you actually sleep on the back of the bed. So you've got a nice, flat, comfortable um, platform to be able to sleep on. Um, so as I say, it's in the upright position here, but you can actually control the front and the back uh, portions of this bed. So this part here and also the bit which you would sit on, you can control these independently. So if you don't want this uh, in this sort of position like so, there is a little handle on the side and you can actually push that up like so. If you want to, you can gain some access then underneath there for some storage. Speaking of the storage then, we've got a really nice fascia board here on the back of the seat. And of course that hides all of the gubbings, uh, which are underneath things like the, the, the seat belts here. Uh, but we can see inside that you have got plenty of storage under there. That little bag is for your uh, electric hookup cable. So this has got electric hookup. And then on the right hand side here then, that is for your table in the middle and you've also got a toolkit uh, bag just there as well. So everything really has been thought of very nicely. There's even a little power supply over here on the left hand side, so a little 12 volt power supply there. You can also see here that the vehicle has been completely carpet lined in the back. We've got a nice non-slip outro floor um, in the rear of the vehicle as well. Uh, now the thing to note on this particular vehicle is this whole conversion was done by a company called New Wave Custom Conversions and they are uh, really notorious for their attention to detail um, and that is really signified here in you could say the lining here on the inside of the tailgate. So not only have we got nice New Wave and a little picture of your camper van there in the carpet lining but things like this here where they've actually cut out this nice little inlay and that is suede in there. So as a just very nice attention to detail, they've got a nice holder here for the uh, table which you can fit into the middle of the van and they've even sort of CNC'd in their NWCC for New Wave custom conversion. So really nice to see that. Um, I've, I've just sort of had the quality of job that has been done in here. You've got curtains as well on the um, on the rear window and the rear gas struts on the tailgate have certainly been um, upgraded because uh, I say that will try and take your head off uh, so you want to be careful of that. Looking then down the driver's side of the vehicle then and this is where we can really have a look at the condition here 
down the side looking for any dings or dents or anything like that. And hopefully, as you can see, it is remarkably straight down the side of the van. Looks very, very clean and tidy. We actually previously supplied this vehicle uh, around a year or so ago to the previous owner. So we certainly know the vehicle very well. At the time when we had it in previously, uh, we um, went through it, of course. We did, I, I think, some brakes on it, but we also crucially did the timer and belt and water bump kit on it as well back in 2022. The 17-inch Davenport alloy wheels, those are the wheels that would come as standard on the T32 Highline, which you see here, which is a really popular uh, wheel choice. This one has got a set of mud flaps uh, fitted to it, and you've also got a nice set of chrome sidebars as well. But as I say, in terms of condition, that is looking absolutely stunning down the driver's side. Just see, is that... There's the tiniest little touch in just there, very low down on the driver's door. This is a little bit of polish residue actually here, just at the bottom of the driver's door, but there is a tiny little touch in just there, but otherwise not a huge amount to fault it on. If we open up the driver's door, then we can start to have a look at some of the spec that you get inside here. And also, of course, the condition. So looking at the driver's door card, that's looking in really good order. This is a bin that uh, is very handy for your paper straws and little things like that. Up on top of the driver's door then we have electric windows, electric heated folding mirrors and that's how those are operated there just by turning that to the folding position like so. If we look inside then we've got auto activated lights, you also get auto activated wipers, you've got two full flip remote keys with the vehicle, leather multifunctioning steering wheel on the left hand side then you've got your uh, cruise control settings and your volume for the radio underneath that and on the right hand side your onboard computer controls and you can also uh, sort of answer and hang up the phone and things like that on there as well looking at the dashboard you can see it's all up to temperature there's no warning lights on the dashboard and you can see the mileage there in the screen in the center so 64,096 miles and i must say for that miles uh, there is little to nowhere on the top of the steering wheel, which is very nice to see. And another factory extra on uh, this particular van. This one has got front swiveling seats, so both of these seats swivel. I, of course, left this one, uh, the driver's one, in the forward-facing position, of course, to show you uh, what's going on here uh, as spec for a driver. But you've also got the VW leatherette as well, and hopefully that will show there on the camera. It's quite difficult to dig because we've got incredibly bright uh, sunshine. But the VW Leatherette is a sort of a light cream color, um, but really easy to clean. You also get uh, twin adjustable armrests on both of the front seats as well. Looking into the center then, six-speed manual gearbox to go along with that 150 PS engine. I say that is crucial because the lower brake horsepower models do not come with the six-speed manual gearbox. Heated seats is another factory optional extra on this van. Air conditioning comes as standard, as does heated windscreen. There's a USB port here, but actually the USBs have been rerouted into the glove box, which I really like because it keeps them nice and out of the way. Now, another thing which has been changed here, and this one has got a lovely uh, Kenwood uh, head unit. Now, this head unit has got satellite navigation built in, but as you can see, it also has Apple CarPlay as well, which is uh, a really positive um, factor for this van. As uh, you can plug your phone in there in the glove box and you can use this uh, seamlessly as you would do on your phone. So you can use things like your um, Apple Maps on here, you can use, uh, you know, listen to your your sort of your favorite music your podcasts all completely on the screen as you would do um, on your phone very very nice to see that 12 volt socket up on top of there and lovely condition inside uh, again more attention to detail here is if we look at the headlining the way that that has been stitched around this sort of overhead console and this center section here again very nicely stitched into the middle it is absolutely stunning the sort of length that they have gone to here to get this sort of finish very very impressive indeed now if we continue then to go around to the front of the vehicle this brings us on to another factory extra then this one has got the xenon headlights with the led daytime running lights having a look at the condition here at the front of the van there are, are a number of stone chips here uh, to the front of the van but very much consistent with the mileage uh, which is on it. So, um, as I say, quite a few little uh, touch um, stone chips dotted around. They've all been touched in in the correct colour, so they're not going to get any worse and they certainly don't draw the eye, but certainly worth mentioning. But probably the worst here is just a touch in there 
on the front bumper. Again, it, it is in the correct colour, but as I say, that is worth mentioning. On the roof then, we have got a nice set of roof bars, and they have also got crossbars on there as well. If we look then down the passenger side of the vehicle, if I just shut this door uh, briefly, you can look down the passenger side, and again, having a look in those reflections and just looking how clean and straight this example is. Very, very striking indeed in the red. I actually think it looks really nice in the red. Now, if we open up the side loading door, this is really the sort of the main uh, focus then of the day van conversion. So as I say, this is a full width rib rock and roll bed. And again, crucially, this is the sliding variant. So you can pull this little handle here and you can actually slide the seats all the way back if you want to, giving you more space uh, in the middle of the van. Of course, you can slide it forward as well if you want to. So it's on runners on the side there. Uh, but that's a really nice feature that you don't often see. Again, more attention to detail here with the trims around the edge of this Dometic fridge, which is in the center. Again, you've got more access then to the storage, which is underneath. Really, really smart. As I say, you've got the nice Altro uh, non-slip flooring. This is your mounting point for the table uh, to go into the center. So you can have people sat in your front seats and also in the back, sort of all communing around this central table, which is very, very nice indeed. Nice overmat as well, a nice new wave overmat. You can plug some um, auxiliary um, uh, sound into here if you want to, um, to be able to play through the speakers. If we look on the back of the seat then, again, a really nice, neat little fascia board there on the back of the seat with another 12 volt socket. You've also got plenty of storage here um, in this extra compartment. This is where your um, consumer unit is, but plenty of storage there on top. That's actually some curtains in there for the front windows. A couple of cup holders and you've got a little control panel there as well to control things like um, your le your leisure battery and of course your, your fridge as well. Another power socket there with, uh, that has got two USBs. So really lots and lots has been thought of here. This has got, as I say, it has got the electric hookup. It's also got, as I say, the leisure battery with the split charger. So you can actually charge uh, the battery seamlessly as you're driving. So really easy to use uh, day van solution. Just to summarize then, 2017 on a 17-plate Volkswagen Transporter T6 Highline. What did start its life as a combi, but has now gone through this fantastic new wave um, day van conversion in the back amazing factory spec with things like the swiveling uh, leatherette uh, seats, the Xenon headlights, the heated seats. It really is very impressive. Of course, you've got uh, your Apple CarPlay in the front of there and your satellite navigation, and of course, all the other bits which have been added in the back of the van as well. Makes this really, really appealing. We do hold a, a lovely service history with the van. As I say, we know this van from um, its, uh, its previous life. We've uh, sold this vehicle uh, before, uh, and at which time it went right through the workshop with a uh, full timing belt kit and during uh, our preparation now we've put it through the workshop again to uh, give it another service. So it really is absolutely ready to go, ready to be enjoyed in this lovely weather that we're enjoying. If you'd like to see the full advert of the vehicle, if you haven't seen it already, please head over to our website bridgeendvans.co.uk. This is where you'll find the price, the description and the photography of the vehicle. There's, an, of course, a number of ways you can contact us via the website, but you can also call us on either of those numbers listed there at the bottom of the sign. Please check the date on uh, the video, if, it, if this video is from a year ago. Uh, I'm sorry to say this vehicle has, has, has probably gone. So head over to our website to, just to double check that this vehicle is still uh, available as well. We can offer delivery on all of our vehicles. We can, uh, of course, arrange finance at very competitive rates and we can take cars or vans in part exchange as well. Thank you ever so much for watching.